So here we are, brand new career mode. And as you can see, we're going to start off as Man United. We are going to rebuild Man United from the ground up. I feel there's a lot of work to be done here. But the aim is to bring the dreams back to the theatre of dreams. I know, it, that was shocking. But um, the aim is three seasons to uh, to try and win the, the Champions League. Uh, to be honest, if I can win the league and maybe a couple of cups along the way i'd be happy with that but i'm going to be honest i'm hoping for a treble and i will go to the fourth season to try and get a treble if i think we're we're in the the area but this first episode is just going to be me going over uh the current squad and, and what i'm uh, i'm thinking of so let's jump into it So here is the starting lineup. What I, with the current players, obviously I'm bought anyone. I've made the uh, the two winter window signings of uh, Gallo and Fernandez. So they're going to straight into the team. Um, striker is going to be a key uh, focus for the first window, I think. Um, going to keep Fernandez. The the two wingers, Rashford, Martial, quite happy with that. Pogba is, yep, definitely going to play there. That centre midfield role, I think I'm going to look at trying to get a better player in there. Fred's going to be all right. We've got McTominay, who's uh, an up-and-coming star. So we, we're not too bad, but I, I want something better there. Uh, I, when it comes to left-back, unfortunately, I think I'm going to look at uh, moving on from Shaw and trying to sign a, a more established left-back. Uh, just someone with a bit better try and push us forward then we move into the middle uh, this with the center backs I'm gonna be honest I want another big center half to partner with Maguire um, obviously we've got Rojo and Bailly but Bailly's 80 overall Rojo's under 80 I just want a really good solid center back I think that'll do, uh, do wonders for the team then we've got De Gea and Goal and Wamba Saka at right back. Both of them have them positions pretty uh, wrapped up. I think we've got a couple of young players in the in the in the making, but whether they, I, I would think by season three, if we haven't already done it, they'll be they'll be in the team. But right now, key focus is a uh, striker, centre midfielder, maybe. Uh, and definitely a, a centre back. So uh, comment below if you have any ideas who. Um, but later on in the uh, in this episode, we'll be looking at some of the people that I'm looking at. So here we are. Quick run through of the current players uh, and what I plan to do. So I plan to sell, try and sell Grant, and then we've got a couple of young players uh, like Mitchell to to go out on loan. I plan to sell Jones and Rojo. Uh, Turning to be uh, lot, all these young people, uh, just trying to get them out on loan, get some experience. They're not going to make any difference to the team this season. Uh, if they're around, then maybe they'll get a couple of cup games. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, I sort of uh, dithered about with Matter and Lingard whether to to sell them or not. I did eventually put Matter and Lingard both on the transfer list. Uh, and, and kind of left it at that for now as you can see here we've gone out and got three big scouts to go and scout England France and Holland now they're going to spend nine months there the people they're going to find aren't going to help us this season but the hope is that by maybe end of season two season three that we might have some kids coming through that could potentially break through but it's it's a obviously it's not a dead set that but we'll hope for it now, into the first match of pre-season so we're just going to quickly run through these a 2-0 win against Roma uh, and then I actually accepted a, a loan offer um, and then we went on to beat Napoli 2-0 um, and then unfortunately this is uh, Lindelof has agreed well that Everton have met the value of Lindelof so he is going to Everton um, which is a 
bit of thrown a spanner right in the works for us but as you can see we've just won another two games so pre-season's going pretty well for us um, this is actually after Lindelof has been sold so you can see the transfer budget and the wage budget is it's pretty healthy and uh, there's plenty of room for manoeuvre there uh, we've just got to see what, what happens during the window we could have more people leaving yet but like I said comment below who you think we should buy um, and here's a quick look at some of the players I'm actually looking at I mean the centre backs I, I, did, I thought I would, these are the couple that I was thinking of but I think it's going to be uh, um titty I think I'm going to go out and, and get um titty uh, and, then, and then maybe come back for Savic later on as a as a third man whether we play three at the back I'm, I'm not just sure yet but I think we do, we may need to bring two centre backs in now that uh, to Lindelof has gone uh, but Mtiti at the moment is is, is my prime uh, target. Let me know what you, what you think. Have you got some centre backs that you've uh, you've discovered? And we move on to the left backs. Um, Alexandros just gonna. I think he's a little bit too much. And at the moment, Digny is 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 my prime a uh, prime target. But I think I'm going to address the other the other positions first. But I'd love to hear if you have some other left backs because I'm not con totally convinced on on Digny, if I'm honest. But he's uh, he, he'd be a good uh, good addition. Um, now we move on to the centre defensive midfield role, and I really really want this this lad. Um, I don't think he's his priority. I don't think that position is priority. But I would if we have enough money at the end of it. I'd certainly want to buy this kid, uh, and Diddy from uh, from Leicester. We'll have to wait and see. I think this could be a late one in the window, unless another team comes and forces our hand. Uh, but let me know whether you think I should uh, splash the cash on him. Addison, obviously, probably a, a name on a lot of people's lists, but it'd be nice to get him. I don't think it's going to happen this window. Maybe in the future, who knows? But I've, I've got other focuses. But these are just players uh, I want to keep an eye on. Uh, Odegaard obviously has been a, a youth prostor for about 20 years. Yet he is only 20 years old. So he's in the... No, I can't see that happening. Especially with him being on loan. Uh, we move on to one of the main targets. is, is the strikers. Um, and I'm going to be honest. Timo Werner. I've, I've, he is the main target for me. If I can get him in and a centre back. Him and Umtiti. I mean, the team immediately just got better. So, th they're going to be the targets moving forward into the next match, into the next video. Um, but, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on on some of these players and some of your players that you think I should uh, should buy for United. But I hope you've enjoyed this. It's just a brief thing, this, and then we're going to move on to and smash through the next season in the next video. But thanks very much for watching. And uh, let's return United back to glory.